Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Ebenezer, the rapping geezer. There was an old man living long ago, sitting in his office, hogging all his coal. His name was Scrooge, and he liked his money. Nothing ever made him smile, nothing ever seemed funny. He had a lone worker. His name was Bob Cratchit. Keeping track of the books was poor Bob's racket. With mouths to feed and a mortgage to pay, he had to deal with the cold every single day. Every day. He asked for a break. Scrooge didn't even care. He told him, go jump in the lake. But he softened just a bit. And then Cratchit head on home. Scrooge called him to his bed to rest his crabby bones. Mr. Scrooge called into bed to rest his crabby bones. Mr. Scrooge called into bed to rest his crabby bones. The night started off no different from the rest. Then the chase began to rattle his heart with bounding in his chest. Towards the spirit of a friend who died some time before. Warning Scrooge that soon his life would change forever. To take Scrooge on a crazy trip Spinning him through time and space But Scrooge didn't give a rip He said, bah humbug And he fell right back to sleep But it wasn't too long Till he was right back on his feet Back on his feet Back on his feet Mr. Scrooge was right back on his feet Here in Greenfield The first of the spirits came from the past He told Scrooge the woman whom he had loved last She was curvy and so sexy And looked like a playboy bunny But Scrooge The second of the spirits came from the present to show him what the town thought of their coolest resident. Everyone made fun of the grumpy, grouchy Scrooge and loathed him for his greedy, self-serving attitude. And the final spirit came to visit from the future. He never ever spoke, he just pointed out the future. As you probably can tell, I couldn't find a rhyme for future. Except for the word future, and it didn't really fit. It did! Start, and the pounding of his hard geriatric heart. He felt the sudden need to set his money loose, and he went to the butcher to buy a great big goose. He gave it to the Cratchits to eat on Christmas morn, along with some pudding and a side order of corn. Life seemed brighter in the Christmas sun. Tiny Tim summed it all up with... God bless us, everyone! That was Tiny Tim. His last name is Cratchit. If he's got an itch, you know he's gonna scratch it. If his pants get a rip, you know he's gonna patch it. Merry Christmas!